Seeking further knowledge of the universe, man turns to outer space with its almost limitless range and the uncharted depths of the oceans. Already, the no man's land above us is being probed by the world's largest radio telescope erected at Jodrell Bank, Cheshire. The huge 700-ton reflector bowl, supported by 180-foot towers, will record cosmic explosions millions of light years away. This is part of Britain's contribution to the International Geophysical Year, when scientists of 64 nations will pool their knowledge. From Australia comes news of their scientific contribution as saucer-shaped antennae of another radio telescope probe 93 million miles to the sun. This is the first instrument capable of taking detailed pictures of the sun. Meanwhile, America plans to launch Earth satellites. This diagram shows the man-made moon situated in the nose of a rocket ready for its journey into space. If man could travel in the rocket, this would be his view of the Earth. The rapid ascent is to be made by booster rockets climbing ever higher until finally the nose cone is dropped. Then the man-made moon will take its place in the heavens, making a complete circuit of our planet every 90 minutes, radioing back scientific data. On the other side of Earth, Australian scientists in a specially constructed satellite tracking station will plot the course and speed of the man-made moons. Another Australian nerve centre in this world research program is on Mount Stromlo near Canberra. There, a giant 74-inch telescope can pick out and photograph heavenly bodies far beyond the reach of human imagination. So, for the next 18 months, the universe will be under observation from almost every angle. In this way, man will learn more of the climatic forces that govern his daily life. It will also be a stepping stone to man's greatest adventure yet, the conquests of the moon.